Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, um, or welcome if it's your very first time here. So what I'm doing for you all today is to pick a card to see how they really feel about you. So the they in question is whoever you are thinking about, but keep in mind as a general reading, if a message comes through and it seems like I'm talking about someone else, just take what resonates. Um, that being said, I do want to say beforehand, um, I am going to read whatever comes up, if it's good or quote unquote bad, if it's not what you're wanting to hear I will deliver it with compassion but I am not gonna sugarcoat something to the point where it's a lie okay um, so as always just take what resonates leave what doesn't and let's get into your group selection all right welcome to your group selection so we have five groups to choose from today I just wanted to be able to tap into everyone's unique situation so group one is honey calcite group two is pink opal Group three is Carnelian. Group four is Green Aventurine. Carnelian slipped. And we have group five with Sardonyx. All right, so as always, take as much time as you need and I will get started with the first group. All right, group one, so those of you who are most drawn to this lovely honey calcite here, let's see how your person feels about you. So your first two cards, which I shuffled beforehand, um, just because this deck is very hard to shuffle on camera, are new beginning, a new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So we're gonna go one at a time. We're gonna take this at a beautiful pace. So you definitely fill this person up with passion. There's a lot of passion for you. There's a lot of excitement um, for a lot of you. If you have known this person in the past, they definitely feel like you have changed a lot and it's refreshing. They do like that. That's what I'm seeing. Like it's, it's invigorated them. They can tell that you, you have more energy, you feel more vibrant. And if this is a new person in your life, um, they're really feeling that beautiful energy coming off of you. I feel like you yourself have just undergone like kind of like a metamorphosis like you've undergone a very big awakening and your energy is very vibrant and your next card is twin flames your passion ignites okay i know not everyone likes the term twin flames so how i'm gonna word this is there's a lot of passion you could have a lot of things in common and you most likely feel that you are destined to be with this person but this is about how they feel about you so you know make sure this part resonates with you as well if you are already kind of intuitively feeling that you were soulmates or twin flames if that's something you believe in um, this can be confirmation of that but regardless this person feels this way about you even if they wouldn't necessarily know the term twin flames um, i'm really getting that they just feel like you complete them not that they're incomplete but you're very complementary to one another um, so also I did want to say before each group keep in mind these are romantically geared so if you're not asking about something romantic you may have to tweak it a little bit all right so next your next Oracle card is so this is really beautiful so far it's definitely like emphasis on passion because we have the word passionately in the first one and then we have the word passion in the second one so I really feel that if you feel like oh this is like too passionate to be long lasting that's not what i'm seeing it's just that you two have a lot of chemistry together and you're very excited about this like new beginning um this could be a new relationship someone you're not really with um but this could also be like you're already with this person and it's just you're getting to a new level and you're bringing back in that excitement so your next card is act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you will always consider them okay so this is really asking you to be in a state of gratitude for this person whether or not you are currently with them i do feel a lot of you are in a relationship but it kind of feels half and half to me honestly like you're asking about someone who you know maybe they're not super verbal or you're just wanting confirmation or this person like you're not in communication something like that especially with twin flames coming up <laughs> to be honest um but this is really spirit coming through to ask you to feel like your very positive feelings about them even though they're not there if they're not there and even when this person leaves if you're with them act as if they're there like don't be to an extent like don't live one life while they're around and then one life while they're not around like you 
I'm getting that some of you might feel very down when you're not around this person. And Spirit is saying, like, keep that vibration up, keep that excitement up, because what I'm getting is not, oh, you're living like a wrong way when you're not with them. I'm just getting that you live a very positive way when you're in communication with this person or when you will come into communication with them. And this is how they feel about you as well. Like this person really, really wants you around. They might have a very hard time when you're not around, even if they're not com what am I communicating I almost said contemplating but I know this is about feeling but I feel that this person thinks about you a lot as well that's something that's coming through and act as if your partner were here I really do feel that they fantasize about you a lot and that's not you know that's not dirty that's like this person really has a lot of passion for you this person probably has like actual fantasies about you is something I'm getting like there's a lot of like sexual passion here on their end at least but it, it goes deeper than that. This is not going as like surface level. This feels like on the surface, other people might think it's all passion. It's something that's gonna burn out very quickly. But to them, they feel like, how to word this? I feel they're someone who would stay in the honeymoon phase for a very long time just because of who they are. And we have communion, communion here, Ishtar. I'm definitely getting that, again, like even if you're not all about the physical, this person does have kind of a shocking amount of like sexual chemistry for you they definitely fantasize about you that's something that's coming through but it is divine it is divine communion it does not stop at the physical even if it looks like something that's physical it feels physical which is great <laughs> let's not pretend that's not fantastic but the reason this communion between you two whether or not you've been intimate or not um it, it goes deeper that's what I'm trying to say is like on the surface it might feel like this person it's all passion it's all like they're just flirting they're just like you know they're gonna get over this really quickly I'm getting that like they might even be concerned about that too like they might be concerned that they're coming off it's all talk or you know all physical um, but it's just that they can't really deny that they cannot deny their passion and they don't they don't want to they're just afraid that it might come off some sort of way like I'm only interested in the physical I'm only interested in your looks or I'm just here for a short time we have the unseen too much is hidden for you and this is um this is something I wanted to say is also since we're reading another person's energy I'm not gonna cross boundaries with what they will and will not let come through or what spirit doesn't want to come through and I am getting that there's a lot more to discover about this person and how they feel about you so what they are allowing to come through and we will finish up with tarot but too much is hidden from you I know that's not what everyone wants to hear we have gotten some information that there's a ton of passion they feel that you are their divine counterpart that is just like point blank period what's coming through and I'm sure that's what a lot of you wanted to hear um, but there's a lot more to dive into but what needs to be done is it needs to come from this person not from this reading because what what keeps coming through is yes there's all this stuff that's very obvious on the surface level or that they're letting come through on the surface level but the rest of this is just a very simple but it runs deeper i care about you more than that but i feel they want to say this to you i feel they want to say this to you in person so it means more so it's not oh i already knew this so it can it can light you up it can fill you with passion it can be a special moment um, and i know doubt is hard no doubt like Gwen Stefani but I feel there might be a lot of doubt on your part and that makes sense with like twin flames new beginning like all this passion act as if your partner were here I do feel that your partner may be coming off as a little bit absent in some way either physically or emotionally and it's not that the emotion isn't there it's just that they're having a hard time expressing they really are we have the world of this is gonna sound so cheesy but they really like with twin flames and communion and you know they're they're fantasizing about you they you really are their world right now i know it's like little mermaid they want to be part of your world um what i'm getting we'll get one more we've got knight of pentacles wow and we've got the king of swords that's what i was getting we're going to start with king of swords because i know this was about feeling but i feel that this person is thinking about you so much i feel they have such an active brain but sometimes their mind can be their worst enemy because 
they're just like thinking of everything that could go wrong that's what i'm getting so they're really having a battle of their mind and their emotions right now there might be what i'm getting is there might be some kind of um some kind of barrier where they think oh this isn't who i thought i would end up with and their mind their ego is like kind of battling their emotions their their soul and their feelings know what's right and their mind is like but this but that but this other thing and so they're kind of conflicted right now um with the Knight of Pentacles in the world though, like this person literally wants to give you the world. They want to be your rock. They want to be very steady. They want to be very stable with you. This isn't something that with all this passion, and this is the consistent thing, like they don't want it to burn out. I feel they have so much passion, but if they're not communicating that, if they're not showing that, it's because they're really afraid. I feel in the past they have been a, a quick burning candle like it was just this like a firework it's so beautiful in the moment and then it's gone they don't want that they want this to last but i feel that the two of you are going to find a way to let that passion burn and not just be this tiny little candle um just out of fear of it burning out too fast i feel you're going to find a way to burn as brightly as you want for as long as you're meant to and with the world i feel like um this person feels like they're ending out a cycle and you know what that cycle is i feel like it's their dating cycle i don't think they want to date people after you i don't think they want to be with people after you um, no matter what actually happens this is where they're at right now they feel like you're like the end all be all for their romantic life so that's amazing group one other groups are gonna have a hard time following up on this aren't they <laughs> so that is what i have for you group one that's absolutely gorgeous and i'm really happy because you know i was gonna deliver whatever came through but i'm glad this was positive i'm glad this was beautiful this person cares a great deal about you they just i'm getting for a lot of you they might they might have some barriers they might have some walls um so that's what I have for you, Group 1. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for coming through, and I will see you next time. All right, Group 2, those of you who are most drawn to this lovely pink opal, let's see how your person really feels about you. So I did pre-shuffle your very first card just because this deck is so hard to shuffle on camera, um, because they're heart-shaped, they're so amazing though. So your first card is, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that this person has some hang-ups in love, um, and I was feeling that we needed to start with your tarot for you, and I really feel it's to clarify what's coming through here. So there's a lot of feelings here. Let me start with that. How does this person feel about you? <laughs> Well, we'll find out, but there's a lot of emotions involved, and I think that emotions scare them. We have the Empress. How do they feel about you? They feel that you're very abundant, very fertile. They might even think of you as someone who is, like, marriage material, but they, they really feel that, like, you deserve the world. They feel that you deserve everything. Yeah, I could just stop there. This person feels like you deserve everything. And so even if they're feeling some sort of way, they could be a little intimidated by this empress. We have the Hierophant. They see you as someone who's very stable, very spiritual, um, very beautiful because we have the empress and then we have the Hierophant. And I'm just getting, for some reason, I'm getting very beautiful, beautified vibes. They see you as like transcendent and we have the three of wands so i'm going to show you the tarot that came through <laughs> nothing else just because this deck is so gorgeous that's why i wanted to use it for a love reading um and then your three of wands i feel like this person really feels that you deserve someone who's very spiritual very much at your level you deserve Someone like you know if you're coming through with empress energy is how they feel about you um, they just feel that you're very abundant and that you are someone who can make anything and anyone come to you and i'm really getting they're just not sure if they're deserving of that sometimes because there's this this fear and distorted perception i feel like they see you and they feel so many feelings about you that they're not used to feeling that they're like second guessing themselves a lot like they're second guessing their past what they thought love was in the past what they thought um like a spiritual connection was in the past and when the three of wands coming up 
I feel a lot of fears about where they want to go in life have come up. It's very strange, but it's at the same time, it's not strange. I feel that you have a very spiritual energy about you, a very vibrant energy, and sometimes that really triggers people. And that's absolutely what I'm getting here is this person, you have like lit them up in some way, and there was just some stuff out of alignment in them, and now they're like, oh, I kind of want to be like that. I, I want to feel like this more, but at the same time, I'm afraid because it's so different. So if that's coming up as like something you've been getting from them, take that as confirmation. Like I, I really feel they might, they're feeling very strongly, but they might even be acting in like the opposite way sometimes. Like they might be a little ghosty. They might be a little flaky is something I'm getting, but it's because they're intimidated by you, which... I understand like that's really really frustrating like been there done that <laughs> we have asked for help what do you really need be willing to accept support so actually you might also be a very nurturing person and again they find that very intimidating because this person literally in the past has felt like they have to do everything by themselves and I'm getting that from them they feel like they have to do everything by themselves so when they meet someone who's spiritual beautiful supportive and I feel that you know how to ask for help you understand very um because they feel that you're this empress energy they feel that you will even like ask the universe for help you will ask spirit for everything you want because even if like you know everyone has ups and downs with their confidence you are not afraid to ask for the things that you really want you're not afraid to walk your spiritual path and you're not afraid to make your dreams manifest for you and this person feels kind of afraid about that okay so in some ways it's a compliment but in other ways like i feel you i feel that you are probably frustrated with this sometimes um this person might even want to ask you for help but again it's like it's very this energy is very twisted up and i'm not getting that your energy is twisted up i'm getting that they have not felt this might sound strange, but they haven't felt a lot of emotions in their life. They have not felt a lot of strong feelings and they thought they had. They thought they were living like a full life. They thought their past relationships were fine. And then they met you. I'm getting like love at first sight for some people. Like it's like with that three of wands, they saw you and they saw their future. They saw what they wanted, where they wanted to go. We have wise leadership they just feel like you can do with or without they feel like you know the empress and wise leadership they and the hierophant these are all about leaders these are all about people who are looked up to this person feels like you are very admirable you are very respectable i mean this person respects you a lot that's something they feel is a great deal of admiration and respect but at the same time if some of their self-respect and self-admiration and self-love is out of alignment that's what's gonna shake up with them and that's what i'm seeing is like they feel okay so to get to the summary so far like they feel a lot of admiration they feel a lot of love honestly they feel they also feel intimidated they feel a little scared they feel like they're in the presence of something very spiritual but that's just not really something they've experienced and so it's frightening to them we have time out awareness contemplation solitude time alone this person sometimes they feel like they want to run um you know take that if it resonates but i'm really seeing like if this person has ghosted you before it would not be that surprising um because it's the intimidation factor and i get that that's really frustrating but hopefully like um, you know, don't take this as like a negative reading. It, it should resonate or it should not. And if this is resonating, this should explain what's going on with them. Um, so I'm not saying like they're going to run forever. Some of you, if you've been feeling that, that might be the case. But for others of you, if they really step up their game, if they take this time out here and they actually ask for help, ask the divine, ask you, ask their friends ask like i don't know someone who's had a long relationship they could turn this around and they could step up into their power because i'm seeing like this person could this person's very capable of it because they're tuned into it they sense all this in you and that's a really good indicator but what they need to do after that is address what's out of alignment and that's their choice so if this goes south that is not on you trust that i'm um, getting this is one of those relationships where your energy just triggered this person person 
they saw a lot in you they felt a lot in you that they haven't felt before they felt a lot of possibilities they felt like they could have a future with you but it might not have been what they were expecting and it could have scared them a little bit so that is what i'm seeing for you group two i hope this goes not south but north i hope this goes well for you i hope this person like um gets it together especially if you're not with them right now i really hope they get it together for their sake and yours so that's what i have for you group two thank you so much for coming through and i will see you next time all right, group three, so those of you who are most drawn to this beautiful carnelian stone here, let's see how your person really feels about you. So as I've told the other groups, I have pre-shuffled your first cards because it's hard to shuffle on camera with these heart-shaped cards. And I also wanna say that this is quite a romantically geared reading, but if you're asking about someone who is not a romantic partner, that is fine. You just might have to tweak it a little bit. So your first card is, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed beautiful we have deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right okay so i'm getting some kind of conflicting and conflicted energies for them i'm getting that they do the primary one here honestly i i told you that i would not like sugarcoat things this person feels pretty conflicted and i think they have hang-ups from the past a little bit like the previous group i'm getting that this person actually might have more hang-ups from the past than the previous group because we have deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right but then we've got all this like through turmoil a blessing will be revealed and it's like in this person's heart they know that you're a blessing to them um there might be some drama in your relationship like that is what i'm seeing but on the on the flip side i'm seeing that this person might have had a lot of drama in their past relationships and you are reminding them of someone and they're kind of you know when some people treat you like you're their ex that's kind of what i'm getting like they might they might have a tendency to assume that everyone's gonna hurt them like their exes or like their parents or their grandparents or something um, i'm getting this person might have come from like a divorced family okay you apparently want four yeah and there's just this person has some confusion around love because we've got two of pentacles oh my god okay two of pentacles juggling two very conflicting things and guess what your next two cards are the hermit being alone being to yourself and the lovers this person is very conflicted about oh do i just go through life alone do i deserve love like what even is love and knight of cups this is the deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right this person is being called to wear their heart on their sleeve this person if you're not with them wants to express their feelings and i would dare to say even wants to express their love for you like they feel that way they really do and it's profound to them it's confusing to them because again i i feel for a lot of them they didn't have a good example of what healthy love was so when they can envision a healthy love with you and there's a lot of passion there's a lot of feelings um but i'm mostly getting the emotional side this person like there's an emotional depth to this person that might be untapped i feel like what i'm what I'm hearing is that this person has a lot of emotional depth, but up until this point, it's been a lot of negative emotional depth. This person has had a hard time um, in life, not just in love. And so they do feel confused. I feel like this person feels like they're just dipping their toes into the waters of love for the first time with this Knight of Cups. Like, you know, eventually you're going to want them to be the King or Queen of Cups. They're just not quite there yet, but they are on their journey. They are on an emotional journey right now and they feel that. So they might not feel they're ready to ready for love. They might feel with this hermit that they have some learning to do before they're ready to really give, you know, share their life with someone else. And you know what? They could be right. Um, for some of you, they might come forward and that might be what you want. But also I feel that this deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. This could be a message for you and about how you're feeling. Do you feel that they're compatible, but also do you feel that they're ready? Do you feel like even if you have so much like love and compassion and this beautiful connection with them, it feels like a soulmate connection. Whether or not it works out, it feels like a soul bond here. But are they ready? Are they ready? 
that's that's something I'm getting is are they ready or do they maybe they do need some time in hermit mode and I'm really getting some like conflicting vibes here I feel there's like possibly two different groups within this group even though I made five um, is that the energy is similar but everyone's at a different place so some of you they might have to spend some more time in hermit mode they might need to do some meditation contemplation figure out their past hang-ups so they're not dragging them into a new relationship or if you're already with this person they they might be kind of reclusive right now they might be taking a step back and this is why if they're not telling you their higher self is telling you um, but with knight of cups i would not be surprised if regardless this person came forward because i'm feeling it's like their feeling their love is on the tip of their tongue they're trying to wear it on their sleeve they just got to roll it up a little further if you know what i mean um what else is coming through? I just really want to emphasize if you've been doubting if they have feelings for you, you got the lovers and you got the knight of cups. So that is not even a question. They, even if you're not with them, like I really want to say like they're in love with you or they can see themselves being in love with you. They could really see themselves just like, it's not so much like, oh, I want to start a family for most of you. It's like they want to like share their life with you. That's what I'm getting is they could, they could really see themselves sharing their life with you but they're just like very conflicted in some way right now so let's get your next card this is a lot of energy and a lot of beautiful energy i understand the frustration though if this person's just kind of back and forth or feels very down on themselves that's something i'm getting i really got that they've had a lot of emotional lows and what they don't want is to get put there again and it's not that they feel you will it's that they're afraid you will their ego is afraid that the past will repeat itself We've got Hera Alliance, and I'm being called to get one more. I feel there's a lot, a lot, lot, lot of energy in this group. And we've, okay, so we've got Hera Alliance and Athena Knowledge. Okay. Um, honestly, I feel like this person is thinking a lot. That's something I'm getting, but I'm getting the specific message that the second goddess card athena came through because for some of you this is a really big confirmation that they came from kind of a broken home and i'm getting the chills like they came from like divorced parents they didn't know one of their parents they were adopted not that there's anything wrong with that it's just that i think it affected this person and Hera is also like she's you know got a very problematic marriage and that's what i'm feeling from your goddess cards i feel like for some of you this person sees someone they would like to be with and they're not quite sure what that means to them they're like i i don't what does marriage mean to me what does commitment mean to me it's not that this person doesn't want to commit they're just really figuring out what that means for them i feel like they want to live a healthy life and that's that's what I was getting is I feel they want to share their life with someone so they feel like they need to spend some time figuring out what the F they want to do with that life they're going to share. They want to bring something to the table. They want to be healed and they want to be helpful so that their love can be unproblematic. We have demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Um, I feel like this person is very intuitive when it comes to understanding love languages that is something that's coming through but i again it's like i feel like this person has a very intuitive connection with you they feel so much love but they doubt themselves a lot and i do feel that this person did not receive a lot of love um this person just they have received problematic love i'm just gonna say if this is your group this has been a pretty consistently recurring theme here is that this person has a very murky complicated for some cases even abusive Oof. past with love and we've got vision psychic images clairvoyance seeing out-of-body travel so i literally just said intuitive connection and i've been seeing soul connections we've got the knight of cups and the lovers you two are connected this is absolutely a soul level bond um there's just this hurdle I'm seeing. So this person definitely feels this because this is how do they feel about you. They are aware of this. They are completely aware of this bond. They feel it. They might not know the terms of what to call it like you do, but they also might. Um, they really might. Um, as the Knight of Cups, I feel like a lot of you, this person is pretty intuitive with the Hermit. They're at least very contemplative and meditative. This person's very wise. Um, that's what I'm getting here. Let's see if there's anything else. 
No, that is what is coming through for you, group three. There's a lot, a lot of potential here. And again, I want to just ask kind of your last thing to just say one more time. If you've been feeling like, oh, am I crazy for thinking this is a soul bond? No, that is what I'm seeing. This is like soulmates I'm seeing. So but that's what I have for you, group three. That is so beautiful. Thank you for coming through and I'll see you next time. All right, group four, those of you who are most attracted to this green event screen, let's see how your person feels about you. So I have shuffled your first three cards already because they're not hand-shaped. <laughs> Um, so your first card is sexual union right off the bat okay so honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss and then I'm gonna tell you what all three are and then I'm gonna tell you what I was hearing look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean okay we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And I'm going to repeat that first sentence for those of you who are doubting this relationship. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Okay? So, when I was holding your crystal and I was tapping into your energy, I heard f-boy okay so your person may have a bit of a past may have a bit of a past even with you or it could be that there's been something feeling a little out of alignment with your sex life with them this is not a pg reading uh, i've never claimed that so this is what we're talking about so sexual union i really do feel that there's been something up with the sex between you two or with your physical dynamic with the passion because what i'm getting and what i heard was f boy so i feel that some of you it's been like there hasn't been as much and that's worried you for others of you i feel like that it's been a lot of that it's been a lot of that and maybe only that and you you are someone what i'm getting is you are someone who can feel what's going on with someone especially when you're being intimate with them you know exactly what they're thinking and feeling and it, there are no secrets but that can be conflicting when they're saying one thing and you're feeling another thing literally off of their body trust me i feel you um but then we have look deep within your heart my love is as deep as the ocean and then we have your relationship is about to deepen transformation so whatever is out of alignment right now in this relationship it's not the not the thing that's out of alignment is deepening your relationship is deepening if you were afraid that this person is only interested in doing it they're they're feeling the attraction so that's what i'm getting i feel if you have just met this person and they are a bit of an f-boy they are feeling the attraction and i'm gonna be honest if they're feeling that this is about to get deeper and they run away that is the them problem because this connection is getting deeper and it's very real and i know that you can feel that but some of you this person's gonna ride with that ride some of you this person's gonna go with that that is what i'm seeing but i'm seeing like you know, this person has free will. This person can make a choice. This is the energy coming through, is this relationship is getting deeper. So if you're with this person, if you're committed, I just do see like whatever has been going on, especially if it's had to do with your passions and your intimate life together, I see it improving. I see you taking that next step and really being committed. I see you having a very open talk about what's been going on. You're gonna say, I've been getting this vibe and they're gonna say, you know what? I've been getting off that vibe. I've been giving that off. I'm so sorry. Um, let's figure this out. But I am getting like kind of two paths for those who are single or who have like just started seeing or being intimate with someone is it's getting deeper. You can feel that. I know you can feel that. That's probably why you're here. Um, but what I'm getting is this person kind of has a choice or you might even have a choice. Um, this person feels they have a choice and I feel for some of you they're going to get scared of this getting deeper and they might run away and just trust that you weren't making this up. You weren't making up this like like deeper intimacy that was something that was real they are not going to run away because there is no connection they would run away because there is a connection if that makes sense but for others of you they're really going to step up their game and that's what i'm really kind of seeing for the majority here is this is something that's undeniable like that's kind of a message coming from them is that the love they feel is as deep as the ocean and that's that's not really something that's easy to deny even if they run away for like a hot minute i do see this person coming back um 
you know, with the green adventuring, this person might be, some of you might be dealing with someone who's younger. Some of you might be dealing with someone who's just not as mature in love. That is what I'm seeing. Um, just take that if, is it, as it resonates, if I can speak. So there, there's our, there is a couple different outcomes going on, but I am seeing the same energy. And what that energy is, something going on with the intimacy you know, either it's been very good or it's been not really happening, especially those of you who are in like a longer relationship or something. A talk, a feeling happening, like you're both very aware that it's getting deeper and you want to communicate that. But then for those of you who this is newer, it can kind of go in one of two ways, which is they step up their game or they do not. Okay, we have water. So there's a lot of emotions flowing and you got my love is as deep as the ocean and then you got water. So I'm really taking this mostly as a confirmation that this person with you feels emotions that they've never felt before. This came through for another group. I'm not going to tell you which one, but you might have felt drawn to more than one. So maybe there's some messages in the other one you were drawn to if you were. But this this here... Uh, I'm also with with that F boy message I got at the beginning. I am not gonna downplay that because for some of you, the last thing I want to do is like sugarcoat everything and be like, oh, everything is fine for every group. If you've been intuitively feeling that it's not for some of you, this person is flowing right in and out of their feelings. They are really skilled at going from one person to the next. If that's what you've been feeling, then that I really do feel that's a message for you. But it's not because they don't feel anything but again for a lot of you i'm feeling that they're diving into this they're diving in deeper they feel deeper emotions than they ever have and they're saying i want to go even deeper with you i want to go even more committed with you that's the transformation here it's kind of like like a moment of judgment it's like roll call who's staying <laughs> and they'll they'll have a decision to make or you, you will. If you've been getting this vibe, I'm seeing that you could make that decision as well. Okay. So we have demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. And that could be further confirmation that you are drawn to a certain other group because that's the card they got. And we have choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So... Yeah, this is... This person definitely wants to communicate this. The fact that this has come through so specifically um, from their higher self that um, their physical self does have to make a choice. And some of you, like, I am so sorry if this happens, but some of them may not choose to stick around and it's because they have growth to do. Okay, find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Though on the, on the other side, I do feel a lot of you, they're going to get a lot better at communicating with something other than their body or if that's something that's important to you they're going to be a lot better at like listening to your body and actually giving you what you want if something has been up in your sex life i do feel that i'm getting that they're listening to you and for some of you that means listening to your body as well as what you're saying as well as what they're feeling i feel for a lot of this person's life they have not listened to what they have been feeling and for you that's the thing is with the emotions this deep is they can't ignore what they're feeling, where they might have in the past. And so now they realize that they actually have a conscious choice. They're like, oh, I can't even ignore this. I actually have to choose. Usually I've just been like, whatever, feelings, I don't feel them. This person, the next person, the next person. And now they literally feel like they might be in love with you or falling for you. And they're like, oh no. <laughs> I played myself. So we have water flight, heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. So this is playing into, I can't with you group four. This has come through in such a synchronistic way. What is that weightlessness? What is that burden cast away? What is that heaviness list lifted? For some of you, it's this person who doesn't know what's going on, leaving so someone else can come in. That is something I'm seeing. If they leave, it's so someone else can come in. Absolutely, because look, you have made this person feel a way that they never have before. You've made them look deeper in themselves. That's another thing is you've made them look deeper in themselves than they have before. And again, like, I love when these consistent themes come true, even if they seem, like, um, pretty profound, because everyone coming here is a certain amount of, like, 
spiritual and gives off really good vibes like that's what i'm getting from so many of you and so of course you're gonna you're gonna make people feel something they haven't before and that makes total sense but others of you it's like baggage gone like that's again it's like judgment day for this connection am i going to stay here and release my baggage are we going to communicate about this or am i going to release this relationship because i don't know what's good for me <laughs> what have you been feeling and I, I do feel like kind of as i was saying judgment day as far as communication is coming so definitely been the most nuanced message of this reading so far so if you feel like i'm in a real complicated like feeling situation right now that is spot on you are very in tune with what's going on because it does feel pretty complicated even if the relationship isn't usually complicated like even if you are like with someone and it's been very committed I just feel like they're going through something very strange energetically right now. They might be going through a spiritual awakening or they might be going through a quarter or midlife crisis. Three of Swords. Okay, so how do they feel? Um, there's some pain coming up. There's Two of Wands. And the Two of Swords. So that's more decisive energy. Okay, and I... I <laughs> I love to give what comes through, but sometimes when it can be hurtful, I'm just going to say that I say everything out of, like, compassion. Three of Swords and Two of Swords, they are not feeling good right now. The majority of you, this person is, like, so conflicted about their feelings. Because we have all these deep feelings that came through, but why Why is that turning into pain for this person? Like, that's something I'm asking, like, for this person's energy. Like, why is a deep love and a possibility at something very committed and beautiful? Why is that turning into pain? Clearly, this person, as I said, baggage. I do think some old trauma or old baggage has come up for this person. And they're just not sure where they're going to go. This person is not sure where they're headed. And I'm getting in life in general. This person just does not know where their feelings are taking them. This person's pretty freaking conflicted. I'm just going to say that. Two of swords is confusion. Three of swords is pain. And they're feeling these at the same time. So I just, with the two of wands, it... This person feels kind of paralyzed right now, okay? And I'm not really seeing that this is something that you've done to them. This person might have other things. This is what I'm getting because we got baggage. So hopefully you've stuck around for this to actually get like some more details, but it feels like this person's baggage and past, even trauma is really something coming through is kind of it has kind of come back and is being it's bleeding into your relationship for most of you i'm not seeing that it has anything to do with something you have done this person is feeling a certain way within your connection because of something else something external something from their past or something that's happening like at work or something something that's happening with their parents if if some of them have like lost someone recently their grief is like um it's just that's what i'm getting it's bleeding into the relationship and i wasn't feeling like it's leaking it's seeping i got bleeding and that's this three of sword like stab through the heart kind of energy this person this person has some really difficult emotions and confusion and it's just it's affecting their ability to love so that has come through for you group three so keep in mind i really want you to pay attention to the look deep within your heart and you will feel my love it is as deep as the ocean and that your relationship is about to deepen this is a very very profoundly deep connection um this person is just going through some things so uh yeah that's that's what i that's what's coming through for you group four group four okay so that's what i have for you thank you so much for coming through and i'll see you next time all right group five last but not least those of you who are most drawn to the beautiful sardonyx let's see how your person really feels about you so i did pre-shuffle your first card because you know i have a hard time shuffling the heart deck so your first card is secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So 
I've got to be honest with the energy coming through here. Some of you have asked about a certain person and you know, your answer of how they feel about you is like, it's deeper than they're letting you know. For others of you, again, I promised I would be so transparent with you as always, even if it's like not what you want to hear. I really feel like you asked about someone and Spirit is giving you answers about someone else. Like someone else's energy has come through and they're like, no, I want to come through. I kind of want to confess my feelings to you. Like they might even confess soon. That's what I'm getting. And it might not be who you're expecting. So pay attention to what resonates because I am getting a similar level of energy. Remember, we're reading the energy of general situations. So the energy is the same that someone feels someone has more feelings for you than they're letting on. So some of you, this is an existing connection. You are talking to them, you are with them, and they're, they're just not sure how to tell you exactly how deep they feel, which is really cute, actually. I feel like some of you might have just started flirting with or seeing someone, and they kind of feel like they're falling for you, but they want to keep it, like, cool. Like, they want to remain a little aloof. They don't want to feel like they're going too fast. But for others of you... Pay attention to if this resonates. Does this hit your heart? Does it hit your energy somewhere? You've asked about someone and someone else has come through because they have really strong feelings for you. We have Demeter Nurturer. This person feels like they want to take care of you. This person, I'm getting they want to snuggle you. This person's very cuddly. This person wants to be very close to you. Um, not that they want to mother you, but they do... They feel like they would like to care for you like when you're sick they feel like they want to take care of you when you're feeling down they feel like they want to be there for you if you've been in tough relationships you know that vibe of like when someone's in a tough relationship and you know you have a crush on them and you can see it's not working they're like oh i would like what's that song like i could treat you better that's the vibe i'm getting so relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change so i'm getting that this person might be afraid that they're not your type um but another thing i'm seeing is that take this if it resonates this like some of you like a few of you were like um you might both be getting the vibe that you might be bringing in some old patterns that's just what i'm seeing that's what i'll say about that they might feel like uh okay that's what i was getting from the first one this is getting clearer now is they have felt very strongly about someone very quickly in the past and it burned out very quickly this is similar to another group i won't tell you which if you were drawn to it but they're very afraid of making mistakes this person is very afraid of making mistakes in love and they're afraid of repeating old patterns because they really want this to last a long time. They really want to take care of you. They care so much about you. They want to nurture you. That's just what I'm getting. Like this person wants to be very close to you in a very loving way. Um, this person would love you even if it weren't romantic is what I'm getting. Like because we have this Demeter, she's the mother. And so that's what I'm getting is this person cares for you, would care for you, would support you even if you were not like intimate with them so let's see what else comes through and that's that's just why that's why they are hiding some of their feelings from you is because they're afraid that they're going to come off as all passion they're afraid they're going to come off as all physical or just someone who goes in way too fast in love and just does it like for funsies or to break your heart or to love bomb you but that's not their intention and i feel they might express this to you soon okay keep in mind that little side message though if some of you feel like that you're in or interested in someone who's like less than healthy i do feel someone who wants to take care of you has their mind set on you like they have their feelings on you they want to express this to you and they might soon and you might realize that this is healthier so we have endurance keep going so this person just does not want to stop being around you that's what i'm getting and you know, with endurance, keep going. And what I was getting about not wanting to burn out versus like wanting to let you know how passionate they are about you. <laughs> they want to let it all out like that burp. So they want this to last. That's what I'm getting. They want this to last. <laughs> Something funny came through. Um, some of them, if you've been intimate with them, they might have wished they had lasted longer. So take that if it resonates or if it's applicable. That's kind of cute. They're like, oh, I hope I'm impressing you in the bedroom that is something coming through 
this person really wants to impress you this person really wants to like win you over and again like not to love bomb that's what i'm getting is they specifically don't want to love bomb you which if you don't know what that is it's like when someone like gives you all this affection just to win you over and then it's like oh i won you great another trophy in the case so that's toxic it's abusive and they they just feel like they want to take care of you they want to give you nice things they want to give you a lot of attention this might be a connection where like they just want to see you every single day and it's not because they're like toxic or anything that's just how strongly they feel about you and that's how strongly they will keep feeling about you actually with endurance i'm getting similarly to another group i got that this person is um this person feels like they want to be in the honeymoon phase with you for a very long time we've got the seven of wands to the eight of wands four of swords okay intemperance okay so i'm going to show you the cards seven and eight of wands aren't they beautiful look at cupid's arrow look at it Look at it, I'm not gonna let you not look at it. Look at Cupid's arrow. This person is absolutely love struck by you, okay? This person is like, boom, this is, like this person definitely had a crush on you. That's how you're gonna know this resonates is like this person absolutely had a crush on you when they first saw you. Like for some of you, again, is love at first sight. Four of swords and temperance though. They're holding it back. They're like, I gotta sleep on this. I gotta like, I can't tell them everything at once. I gotta chill. <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting. Four of Swords and Temperance. They're like, mm, hold it. No. Oh, they're like they almost tell you, and they're like, nope, I can't do this. I can't scare them away. Don't do that. Seven of Wands to Eight of Wands, though. It's like I feel they're getting there. This person might <clears throat> have a pretty um uh, interesting confession coming soon, where they like. I love you like if that's what you're waiting on from them I feel them saying I love you if this is a secret admirer someone's coming through or they're showing you signs like keep in mind like this is a really beautiful energy but unfortunately not everyone always acts on beautiful energy so they could be doing interesting things like viewing all your stories and liking all your photos but not saying anything um they could be giving you little hints and like they're so into you though they're just afraid you'll reject them that's what i'm getting like there is so much energy but they're so afraid if they tell you exactly how they feel that it's so much that you would be like oh what's wrong with you <laughs> like um that's what i'm getting is um also, I don't think this person realizes what I'm getting from the seven of wands is this person doesn't really realize what a catch they are and they don't realize that you feel the same way about them. Even if you want to take it slow and steady, like this might be a mutual thing. It's it's not that the passion isn't there. It's not that the want isn't there. So I really see like with temperance, there could be a good balance here. There could be some good compromise and that's so mature um, when you can let that passion burn, but also be smart and not just like cross each other's boundaries or like you know love bomb as i said so that's what i have for you this one feels really cute this one feels really cute um what i'm getting from their emotions that that they get really giddy when they think about you like it's not it's not all like really like passionate like they're not it's not so focused on them like fantasizing about you physically they're just very excited about you and they're excited to be excited. That's what Eight of Wands is telling me, that they're excited to be excited. And this also talks about messages. So if you're waiting for someone to communicate their feelings, to step up and ask you out or ask you to marry them or just like send you that first message. Um, but also something I'm just seeing right now is like if you, if you feel they're going to keep being shy and you know this resonates, you might want to be the one to reach out to them. So temperance, balance, compromise, even if you wouldn't usually be the first one to reach out, you might need to in this situation if you want it to flourish, which I'm seeing this could really flourish. So that is what I have for you, group five. I'm so glad to end on this because this was adorable. I'm going to feel like a high for the rest of the day. So thank you so much for coming through and letting me read for you. Um, and I will see you next time.